you're truly sorry for something you've said or done, consider admitting it to those you've harmed. Speak of your sincere sorrow or regret and ask for forgiveness. Remember, however, you can't force someone to forgive you. Others need to move to forgiveness in their own time. If you make a small mistake or one that affects your whole life, the steps to forgive yourself will be the same. It can be very hard to forgive yourself. But it is worth it. Let's discuss different steps on how to forgive yourself. Focus on your emotions. One of the first steps in learning how to forgive yourself is to focus on your feelings. Before you can move forward, you need to think about your emotions. Give yourself permission to feel the feelings that have been triggered in you. Acknowledge the mistake out loud. It is okay if you make a mistake. But if you keep making the same mistakes, it might be because you haven't learned anything from them yet. Tell other people about your mistake and what you learned from it so they can help too. When you speak out the thoughts in your head and emotions in your heart, you may feel better. You can also learn from your actions and consequences. Get clear about what you want. If you made a mistake that hurt someone else, you need to find the best way to fix it. Do you want to talk with this person? Do you want to make up with them? If you are on the fence about what to do, it might be a good idea to make amends. It is not enough to just say sorry when you have hurt someone. If you do something wrong, try to fix it. One study found that it is easier to forgive yourself if you first make amends. Show kindness and compassion. If you are the first person to criticize yourself when something bad happens, it might be time to show yourself some compassion. You cannot begin the journey to forgiveness if you are not kind and compassionate with yourself. This takes time and patience. You must remind yourself that you are worthy of forgiveness. Benefits of self-forgiveness Forgiveness is a good thing. Forgiveness helps us if we have been hurt, or if someone has done something bad to us. It means to forgive others and yourself. You can do it for yourself or the other person. Mental health. If you forgive yourself, then your feelings will be better and you will feel better about yourself. People who forgive themselves have less depression and anxiety. Self-compassion makes you feel better. It helps you be more successful, productive, focused, and concentrated. Physical health. By forgiving someone, you can have better physical health. Research shows that forgiveness can make your cholesterol levels better, reduce pain in your body, and lower the chance of a heart attack. Challenges of forgiving yourself. Why is it hard to forgive yourself? Why do people want to punish themselves over a small mistake they made? You might feel bad if you do something different from what you believe. For example, some people might think it is wrong to steal or break a promise. If they do something that is not in line with their values, they might feel bad. Some people naturally go over and over negative feelings, but it is easier for them to do this. Self-forgiveness is tough because it means admitting that you did something wrong and that you might need to change. Lastly, it's hard for people who are not ready to change to forgive themselves. Instead of admitting they need to change, people might pretend they are okay. They might overlook or excuse things that they do wrong. As humans we all make mistakes, whether big or small, it's part of what makes us human. Withholding forgiveness from oneself is a surefire way to create an unhealthy and unhappy life. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comments. Cheers!